have never failed to get PDP ticket. I will get it this time too. Atiku, welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. So, uh, some people will be like, what exactly is giving these people the nerves to come out to say this? The government of Lagos actually come out and say now, like, you know, the way he's talking with all confidence. And I'm saying those who are attacking him, there's no need for attacking them. Get your PVC ready. Get your PVC ready. If you see a competent candidate, because me, I've not seen anyone to date who will come out and say, oh, okay, I'll be the president and this is a roadmap of what the solutions I'm going to be preferring. These are the free sectors and these are the problem of the free sectors. These are the possible solution nobody have come out and everybody is coming out to say i will get i will get nigerians get a pvc resist don't slack don't say it, you my vote will not count to just know that if you do not come out to vote you don't even have a right to complain it is that simple come out give it your best give it your best convince people instead of attacking the the person who is not your your, your preferred candidate convince people why they should vote for competency and merit above uh, popularity and uh, whatever okay the news in detail please stay with us former vice president Atiku abubakar has expressed confidence that he will be elected president of the people's democratic party in the general elections in 2023 Mr. Tiku, who was defeated by good luck Jonathan in the then released party presidential primaries in 2011, told journalists after visiting former President Olusegun Obasanjo on Saturday that he has never failed to win the PDP's presidential ticket and is confident he will win it this time. Have I ever lost a lottery ticket? When asked if he believes he can win the PDP ticket this time, Mr. Tiku replied, I am confident. Mr. Tiku also said that he will make an official announcement of his interest in running for the president in 2023, denying claim that he is too elderly to help Africa's most populous country. Now is the time for the kids to compete. It is a democratic system. Allow them to compete for it, Mr. Atiku added, addressing young people who believe he is too old to be president. Mr. Tiku ran for president of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, in the 2019 elections, but was defeated by incumbent Muhammad Buhari. Hmm. Like I said earlier on, this one is not a time to come out and, you know, some people, uh, our Nigerian that we don't like calling down drag us as a section of Nigeria online, online commentators. <laughs> they will come out and they will start saying those sort of things. And I'm saying the more you criticize these people, the more they become popular the more people know about them. But if you go about preaching merit, evangelize merit, yes, it has gone to it. It's, it is a thing of preaching. You have to tell people why merit is preferable. I mean, the, the, it, the, it's obvious. The reasons are there. We have been allowing people who to us are good men. You see somebody, yeah, hey, he's a good man, or he's good to me, or he did this for me, he did that for me, and the person gets to the presidency, and the person becomes the total opposite. That is because you're using... As in, we are not talking about someone who will be a good man to people now. I mean, to I mean to a set of people, to a number of people. We are talking about somebody who is competent enough to rule Nigeria and to build Nigeria up. If you are not a builder, you don't have the patience, you don't have the charisma, you don't have the competency, you don't have the skill, and you are not flexible, most especially for this particular period in time you have for presidency. Ah, no. You are going to go there and you are going to mess up. And the thing is, I don't even know why they're not seeing the job behind this. There's a lot of work. You see, in this particular, in the presidency, anybody who is going there with intent to work should get himself ready to be overworked because there's a lot of work on ground. And I'm saying this because the economy is like, um, if I'm going to des uh, describe Nigeria's economy, Nigeria's economy is going towards minus 20, not even a zero. It is, has gone from plus to minus 20 our insecurity is going towards minus 50 60 70 and of course infrastructure the infrastructure because you cannot use infrastructure to balance up security and um the economy you will still say the uh, the, the infrastructure is still is still is still going it's still growing it's not even up to average yes and yet these people coming out are all thinking that it is just to go they cross your legs and apart from that, everybody has the right to come out and run for presidency, yes. 
But me, I always said I've not found my, I've not found my preferred candidate. And this is because I've not seen anyone with a roadmap of the solutions to Nigeria's problem. There is insecurity in the land. There is disunity in the land. The economy has, is decaying. As in, is decaying. And nobody has come to say, okay, this and this and this are the causes of Nigeria's economies or inflation. These are the causes of the inflation. These are the policies we have put in place. Okay, the reason why it has been happening, tell us. Make us believe that you actually care for this country, not just for the seat. No one is coming. Everybody just saying, I'm confident I will win. Like, who cares? If you like, be confident. At this point in time, I, myself and a lot of Nigerians, we're all about competency. I know there are gullible ones around us, but a lot of us are all about competency. What do you have to offer? What is the solution you prefer? What are the areas you're going to take on? Because believe you me, we don't expect even anyone at this point in time. It is even going to be difficult for you to focus on me. I'm saying three at least. It's going to be very difficult to focus on free and to make that free, make it a huge success. But this, uh, we don't expect you to come in and, you know, all the sectors will just, you know, go back, go from zero to 100. No, at least free. You come in, you do what you're going to do. It's not that you're going to neglect that, but you're going to be channeling, you know, your attention to three major ones. And of course, you do it and do it in such a way you take it like from 100 to 80. So that another person comes in, after this particular person, the person comes and pick another free, and what he does, it is going to be using the many 20% to manage the free you've worked on, and he picks his own free. And before you know it, in the next couple of years, Nigeria is now better. I'm not to see that candidate. I've not. Like I said, it is not by coming online to rant. It is not by coming online to all to say, oh, Nigeria, no good. You know, go better for Nigeria. Like all of us, all of us, uh, many of us do see. Majority of us people say that, ah, Nigeria can never be good. And you are still in this country. So instead of sitting down, become an online commentator, start dragging people that do not even send, the people that don't, that don't even know you exist.